Steve Golly from Pentagon Solutions and I'm going to take a very quick look at AutoCAD 2010 and applying a custom material to a face. So first of all let's get a couple simple shapes in here. Um, the purpose of this exercise isn't really to go over the 3D tools. Um, everyone's seen 3D enhancements from 2010 or from 2007, 2010, some fantastic features in there. So I'm just going to create a couple simple boxes that represents a floor on a wall. I could use a poly solid but I'm just going to keep this simple. I'm going to create an area here that represents a TV screen. Flat screen TV, we'll bring that out a wee bit, say 75mm. I'll put a quick rectangle in. Again making sure my dynamic UCS hooks on and I'm going to use my press pull to take that rectangle back 50mm. I can swap out my um, visual styles so I want to see it a wee bit clearer there. Again, I'll add on a quick box, say for a control panel along here. So I'm just doing some arbitrary measurements and dimensions on the screen. Okay, so I'm ready to go. So how are materials actually applied? Well, materials can be applied directly from the tool palette. A lot of users have probably seen this. Um, you can see my materials. I have no materials in the drawing. But um, when I click on it, a material, and actually hit escape, it does populate it into the drawing. So say if I went to like my finishes, gypsum white, again it does populate in the drawing. You can apply it directly from the tool palette to the object and you can also apply it by layer as well. But I'm more interested in this um, material editor here. So if I want to apply the hardwood flooring, again I can do it on the fly in here, I can go apply material. A very quick tip, if you only want to apply it to one face, hold down the control key, hover the face. So you can see it's only applied to the physical top face in there. So whereas this instance here, if I go into my materials and I go apply material, just select the whole object, don't hold the control key down, it applies it to the whole object back, front and side, etc. in there. That's just white. But what happens if I have a custom material that I want to actually apply to this screen? Well, let's create a new one. We right click in the white area or space area in here, or we can go to create new material. And um, Select the create new material and I got an image of Jack from Lost. It's coming back on Sky One. Um, can't wait. And what we're going to do, we've got our new material. So we can define our user template in here. Um, so we could look at something that might represent um, the uh, TV screen in here. I'm just going to say maybe paint semi gloss in the meantime. This will change various options in here like shininess, opacity, etc. But that's for another WebEx. I'm more interested in applying the actual image. So let's go and select the image up from the diffuse map. There's the guy we want in. Let's open it up. And the key to the image in here, we can, if this was a tiled area, we would um, actually tile it out. We would control it by the scaling and tiling here. But what we want to do is use the scale units. Rather than pick millimeters, um, we're going to just go fit the gizmo. We want the U uh, tile and a V tile is none. And I'm going to take this back to a one to one. Now I might have to adjust this later on, you're going to see this. So I can right click and I can say apply the material to this face and actually pick up on the individual face. Now you'll see that it's not quite in the edge areas that I want. So what I can do is go back in uh, to my U tile and start adjusting this accordingly, just the stretch and fit in as I want it. So it's a very quick tip on the actual rendering. There's Jack from Lost um, on our very quickly mocked up TV screen. Um, but this is David Golly from Pentagon Solutions. Thanks very much.